understanding capabilities. So remember for FME ESTs, we're making some assumptions and we're giving these FMEs based on where we think our client sits on that beginner, intermediate, or advanced continuum. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to understand where our client sits and then we have to have rules or principles that say, because our clients sit here, they get these FMEs and not these over here. So let's start there and let's talk about the FMEs that your clients will get based on where they sit on that continuum. So first let's discuss the beginner. So the beginner is going to get cyclical only FMEs. The energy systems that they're going to train or test are going to be aerobic only. So with the beginner, it's very simple. They're getting cyclical only FMEs and those FMEs are only aerobic. So no anaerobic work for beginners. And we've talked about the reasons a lot, but I'll remind you uh, that beginner client can't actually express anaerobically. They don't have enough power developed because what does a beginner mean? Remember from our previous discussion in resistance, if someone is a beginner, that means that they do not have motor control established. If someone doesn't have motor control established, they're definitely not training maximum contractions. If someone has not gone through motor control, strength, endurance, max contractions, they don't have strength and power to express anaerobic, the anaerobic energy system. Okay. So beginner cyclical aerobic only moving on to the intermediate. The intermediate is getting cyclical mixed cyclical plus cyclical and gymnastics in terms of the type of FMEs they're performing. And then in terms of energy systems training, they can start dosing anaerobics and they can practice in training and they can test through FMEs, the anaerobic system. So anaerobics is good to go as well as aerobics still, of course. Now let's go back up and let's talk about the cyclical plus gymnastics. Why gymnastics? And let's talk about what gymnastics are. So when we say gymnastics, we're not saying um, iron crosses and, and muscle ups and uh, you know typical gymnastics movements that you're thinking of. Just think of gymnastics as body weight only movements. So they can get off of an aerobic implement and now they can start using their body weight through resistance. Okay, so think of even like double unders, we would call that a gymnastics movement. A burpee is a gymnastics movement, a box jump, step down, a push up, a pull up, all of those things are gymnastics. But we're not going to weights quite yet because they haven't trained through strength endurance. Okay, because Remember, when we start using things outside of these aerobic implements and aerobic work, the main goal is to make all of those contractions aerobic. So if someone doesn't have a vast amount of strength endurance training, just in resistance, they're definitely not going to be able to make those patterns aerobic in a sustainable quote unquote setting. Okay. So we're only, we're starting to dip into resistance training, but it's, it's, it's relative resistance. They're just using their body weight. And then finally, let's move over to advanced. Okay. So the advanced can now do everything. Okay. They can do cyclical. They can do mixed cyclical, cyclical plus gymnastics, cyclical plus weights, uh, cyclical plus gymnastics plus weights, or even weights plus gymnastics. I know that was a mouthful, but the thing that we added there was weights. Now we start to think about, uh, deadlifts, uh, power cleans, uh, push press, uh, dumbbell bench press, uh, in a sustainable set. So the advanced can now open it up. Okay. And they can now challenge themselves to try to make these things sustainable. Uh, these things by these things, I mean, these patterns sustainable in this, in this aerobic format. Okay. And in terms of energy systems, they're the same as the intermediate. They can dabble in aerobics as well as anaerobics. Okay. So now let's discuss how do we find, or what are some clues that would say that my client is a beginner intermediate or advanced. Let's start with a beginner. So you can classify your client as a beginner if they meet any of the following criteria. Okay. Number one, they have less than three years of energy systems training experience. Number two, they have not developed motor control in all resistance FMEs. And then finally, number three, they have not progressed through a long to short cyclical aerobic program. Okay. So what do I mean by long to short? They start long, let's say 30 minute intervals on this bike erg, and then they go down all the way down to 30 seconds. Okay. So we would call that map nine to map one. Okay. So if someone hasn't, if they have no experience going from long to short, we would classify them as a beginner in terms of energy systems training. So be patient and stick with cyclical modalities only for the beginner. 
Now let's talk about intermediate. So you can classify a client as an intermediate if they meet all of the following criteria. Number one, they have more than three years of energy systems training experience. Number two, they have developed motor control and they are progressing through strength endurance in resistance training, okay? And they might be dabbling with some intensification as well. So accumulation phases, intensification phases. So they're doing some strength endurance and there's accumulation phases and they're kind of starting to get into practicing maximum contractions in those intensification phases. Okay, and then number three, they have successfully completed a long to short cyclical aerobic progression. And then finally, the advanced. We can classify uh, your client as an advanced trainee uh, if they meet any of the following criteria. So they have more than five years of energy systems training experience, and they have trained motor control, strength endurance, and maximum contractions across all patterns, okay? So let's go back to the, the beginner, the intermediate and advanced and what they can do in terms of testing FMEs. When we get to the advanced, and this one's really important, so I wanna make this clear. When we get to the advanced, that list is so long. They can now do all of these FMEs, but that does not mean that they have to do all of those FMEs. Okay, we're gonna walk through some pretty advanced FMEs when we get to that advanced section. Um, and one of those is constant variance. Okay, so it's, it's five sets, they're mixing up the order, uh, they're doing hang power snatches, they're doing, uh, burpee, or they're doing burpees, they're doing box jumps, they're doing double unders. Just because someone is an advanced trainee does not mean they have to do that FME, it just means that they can do it if it falls within their goals.